Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting update about Iraq's economic strategy, specifically focusing on how they are following Dr. Shababi's plan to the letter. This topic is particularly fascinating for those of you who have been keeping an eye on global economic developments and currency valuations. So, let's unpack this step by step. Dr. Sinan al Shababi, the former governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, had a vision for Iraq's monetary policy that many experts believe is now being meticulously implemented. Dr. Shababi's plan was multifaceted, aiming to stabilize and grow Iraq's economy through a series of strategic moves. The first key aspect of Dr. Shababi's plan was to increase the value of the Iraqi dinar. For years, the dinar has been undervalued due to a combination of economic sanctions, political instability, and infrastructural challenges. However, as Iraq's situation has gradually improved, the groundwork has been laid for a stronger currency. By increasing the dinar's value, Iraq stands to boost its purchasing power on the global stage, making imports cheaper and enhancing the overall economic welfare of its citizens. An integral part of this revaluation strategy involves the introduction of lower denominations of the currency into circulation. Currently, Iraq's currency system is heavily reliant on large denominations, which is a common characteristic of economies with a weakened currency. By shifting to lower denominations, the Central Bank of Iraq can better control inflation and facilitate easier transactions for everyday purchases. This move also signals confidence in the dinar's value as lower denominations are typically used in stronger economies. Another critical component of Dr. Shababi's blueprint is the use of larger notes for foreign reserves. When the Iraqi dinar is revalued, these larger notes are held primarily by international investors and foreign governments who can serve as substantial reserves for the central bank. This strategy not only helps stabilize the currency but also builds confidence among global investors regarding Iraq's economic future. Essentially, these reserves act as a financial cushion that can support the dinar during times of economic fluctuation. It's also worth mentioning that Dr. Shababi's plan isn't just about currency manipulation, it's about building a robust economic foundation that can sustain long term growth. This includes enhancing banking infrastructure improving regulatory frameworks, and fostering a business environment that attracts foreign investment. By following this comprehensive approach, Iraq aims to create a more resilient and diversified economy. So, why is all of this significant right now? Reports suggest that Iraq is indeed following Dr. Shababi's plan meticulously. This has sparked a lot of optimism among investors and analysts who have been tracking Iraq's economic reforms. The gradual implementation of these strategies indicates a commitment to economic stability and growth, which could have profound implications for the region and beyond. In summary, the steps being taken by Iraq to follow Dr. Shababi's plan are pivotal for the country's economic future. Increasing the dinar's value, introducing lower denominations, and using larger notes for foreign reserves are all strategic moves aimed at creating a more stable and prosperous Iraq. As these plans unfold, it will be fascinating to see how they impact both the domestic economy and Iraq's position in the global market. Thank you for tuning into this update. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more insights on global economic developments. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.